everybody Gurgnerd here and welcome to COD Wednesday. Um, this video is going to be a bit different. In the background you'll see me playing uh, Studio. This will be two games I put into one, like Clip. Uh, I'm using the SMR. This this first game I'm using the SMR with uh, Select Fire and the M8A1 trying to get the overkill uh, cooling card done. And then the second game I'm using the SMR with the noob tube and also the M8A1 but then once I finished the SMR I moved on to the AN94 with the foul which the foul had a select fire as well but anyway this um, video as you can see by the title is me talking about the Xbox One my thoughts and how it's going to be affecting my channel so Let's start on a good I'll start off on a good note. Um, the M, M the M8A1. Sorry, <laughs> the Xbox One actually looks it looks like a VCR. That's that's not really a good note. Um, it it, it looks sleek. Um, it looks like it's got the uh, feature from PS3. You know how with the disc you just slide it in and it sucks it in. Don't know what that's probably called, but yeah, it looks like it's got that to me. The controller looks absolutely sexy. I love it. I love the uh, X, Y, A, B buttons. Oh, I just want to. I want to have it now and just like eat it. Not really. I don't really want to eat it, but it looks fucking awesome. Um, the Connect. Nah, I never really cared about that. But anyway, moving on to the main topic. So I've been doing a bit of not re not really research, but just got some highlights and main features of what's happening with the Xbox One and the new. What, what they're doing, the new generation in general. So apparently they promised to support indie games for Xbox One. Now I don't know if that can, like, that will can uh, go towards us, uh, us Aussies, because us Aussies at the moment don't get indie games. Only, well, I'm not sure about any other country, but I know that America mainly gets the indie games. We don't get any indie games over here. It isn't accessible for us. So I don't know if that's gonna, if they're gonna change it so us Aussies can get that shit going, but at the moment, I'm not really fussed. That's not the main point, which I'm pissed off about. <laughs> um, they apparently filed for a patent so that people can get television achievements or something like that. So you could be watching TV and, like, for example, if you go on an app or... No, 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 an app. That's a bad one. If you do a certain gesture or do something that relates to a show or something or watch the whole season, you get an achievement for it. I think that's completely stupid. And the fact that they may know you're doing that, that's kind of scary, you know, with the Kinect being on all the time. It's like, hey, you're watching porn? Why don't you just fap to this phone and we'll give you 20 Gs? Yeah! A bit awkward. <laughs> so that's a bit weird, that one, that topic. Um, pre-owned plan, their pre-owned plan apparently is, so you're allowed to buy pre-owned games, um, but you have to like pay a fee for in order to work on your Xbox One which I think is completely stupid and the actual money goes towards the uh, the developers and Xbox and I don't think any of it goes towards um, any other like place that sells it. So you have to pay for the game, then you have to pay to play the game afterwards. It's like bullshit all over again. So I don't like that. Um, Xbox Live Arcade games won't carry on to the Xbox One, which is so fucking irritating. I now understand why they brought, um, brought a, made a um, optical, no, not optical. Uh, they brought Minecraft onto the P, uh, the disc because they already knew that they weren't going to bring arcade games to the uh, current arcade games to the Xbox One. I don't know if they're going to bring any future arcade games, but that's why they put it on a disc so Minecraft can be bought and once again be played. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know any of this. This is all my own opinion and what I've looked up. Nice new tube there. <laughs> so, uh, you know how my, my Thursdays are for trials, I'm still going to have that, I'm going to still be playing on the Xbox 360, I probably won't get the uh, th uh, Xbox One, mainly because none of my friends will be, we'll leave it for a while, maybe a half a year or so, then when it's cheaper, etc, etc, this is all from Aliens words, I'm just using it now. <laughs> so yeah, arcade games won't move on, um, it won't be backwards compatible at all, That's says here in one of the fucking, uh, what are they called? Anyway, yeah, they won't be able to play 360 games, which is also stupid, so what's the point of buying Ghost or GTA 5 if you can, if, like, on PX 360 if you can buy it again, if you have to buy it again on one, which is completely stupid. We're nearing the end of the video, I'm trying to speed this up. Uh, it will not require constant internet connection, which is good. 
<laughs> um, and apparently there was a quote, if you're backwards compatible, you're really backwards, which I think you're an arsehole. Anyway guys, my content until I get the Xbox One will still be on the 360, so don't worry about any of that. That's it from me, bye.